Hi, I'm Tim Veach with Reach Hockey at Gilmore Academy. Today we're going to work on scoring goals in tight spaces. So we're going to focus on getting the puck on and off our stick quickly and accurately um, and refining our saucer pass okay, and our quick release. So this drill is just a nice warm-up drill that focuses on scoring uh, in tight on the backhand really quickly. You can do it with or without a partner. If you don't have a partner, you can just have a stack of pucks and work on pulling them from your forehand to your backhand and elevating the puck quickly. But if you have a partner, you're going to have him pass to you. You can do both a flat pass or a saucer pass. The keys to this drill are we want to accept the puck quickly on our forehand and softly and pull it smoothly to our backhand. Okay, then when we get to our backhand, we're going to drive our bottom hand uh, up, like pull, snap our bottom hand up and punch our top hand into the ice so that we're elevating our stick quickly and snapping so we can get the elevation on that shot. So again, my top hand punches into the ice, my bottom hand pulls up on the stick, make sure I'm on top of the puck and elevating it quickly. So a smooth transition from forehand to backhand, punch the hands and elevate the puck. Okay, so this is again another drill you can do with a partner or without. There's a couple variations that, that you can do. We're gonna show you one of them. So we're gonna have a net in its regular spot. We're gonna flip another net over. You can use a shooter tutor, or if you don't have two nets, you don't have a shooter tutor, um, you can hang a target or put sticks in the corners just so you're shooting for a small space. Um, the goal of this drill is just to bury as many pucks as you can. Okay, is if you have 10 pucks, just try to get them all in there. Um, you can make it a competition if you have a buddy. You can have him pass into you if you want to work on uh, catching and getting the shot off quickly. But this is just going to help your shot placement, okay, and uh, getting a quick, accurate shot off. Okay, so you can also work the same drill and just work your backhand shot. So here's a variation of the same drill where these guys are working on their backhands. Okay, so this next drill is another drill with the net flipped over. What we're going to have here is you're going to stand with your back to the net, toes facing up the ice. You'll have your partner standing in front of you facing the net. He'll just feed a puck between your feet and off the flipped over net. You turn around, collect the rebound, and bury it in tight. So we're simulating a rebound situation in a game and collecting the puck and elevating it quickly. Okay? Make sure you work on both sides so you alternate turning to your left and your right every time your partner gives you a pass or a shot here. Okay, so this is another drill that focuses on finding a puck quickly and getting a shot off from different angles. Okay, so we're going to have our partner standing behind us now, and he's going to feed pucks through my legs, okay, and I'm going to try to find the puck and elevate the shot and get it off as quickly as I can, picking a corner, okay, and if, if the puck comes to my uh, forehand side, I'm going to collect it on my forehand. If it comes to my backhand side, I'm going to try to collect it on my backhand. The keys to this drill are we want to minimize our stick handles. We want to find that puck, get it in a shooting position as quickly as possible, and get the shot off.
All right, so now we're gonna show you several drills that you can do with a partner or with a small group, and I'll kind of walk you through the variations on those. You can also do these, goal, these with or without a goaltender. Um, so if you don't have a goaltender, you can use a shooter tutor. Again, you can put targets up, flip the net over, put your sticks in the corner, whatever you wanna do. Um, but these are great if you got a partner or if you have a group of you know anywhere from four to a whole team. Okay, this drill is going to work on passing and receiving from different locations. So you're working on collecting the puck at a different angle, okay, and getting a shot off quickly. Again, the keys to this drill are just collecting the puck, transferring your weight, and getting that shot off as quickly as possible. Okay, so you're going to see this. We're going to set it up on video with just two guys so you can see what it would look like with a partner. But I'm going to show you all the shooting locate or all the passing locations we're going to work from. Okay, so we're going to have a shooter in the slot here and he's going to be without pucks. Okay, we're going to work several different variations. So if he's a righty here, we're going to work one where he's getting a puck from this corner across his body, collecting it back here, stepping towards the net and shooting. Okay, we're going to work another one where he's getting it here on his forehand and quickly getting the shot off. We're gonna work one where we've got a passer here and he's giving the puck on his backhand and he's pulling it to his forehand and getting a shot off. Okay, and finally we're gonna work one here where we have a passer and he catches it on his forehand, soft catch, transferring his weight, okay, and then stepping towards the net and getting the shot off. So again, if you have a larger group, you can work through and just have passers at all four stations and you can go one pass, two pass, three pass, four pass, Okay, if you just have a partner, you can work with him down here, getting several pucks from the same location, okay, and then switching the locations that way. Okay, so this drill is going to work on scoring in tight. Um, we're going to set up two tires just like this, one here and one about here, and we're going to start with one guy on each side of the ice. Okay, and again, if you have more guys, okay, just line them up like this. Okay, what we're going to do here, one guy's going to start with a puck, we'll have a pile of pucks at each line. Okay, one guy's going to start with a puck, he's going to skate up inside out around the tire. Partner is going to do the same thing. Okay, so we're inside out around the tire. We're just gonna attack the net real quick. We're gonna have a stick laid down in the middle. Okay, and we're working on making a sauce pass. Okay, and finishing in real tight. Okay, again, you can do this with or without a goaltender. If you're doing this with just a partner, I recommend going through about four reps and this guy picks up a puck and then this guy picks up a puck and they go again. Uh, about four reps is good. And if you got more guys, then you can just go through, switch lines, and then the next two guys can go and you can work through it that way as a team or a larger group. There we go, come on. Okay, so this drill is working on quick puck exchanges, okay, and then making a play down low in tight um, in front of the net and like kind of reading and reacting as the trailing guy. 
Okay, so the, pup, the drill starts with uh, guys about dot wide um, in each group. And again, partner team, doesn't matter. We're gonna have two barriers set up here, just inside the top of the circles. We'll go on one side and then we'll go on the other. Okay, so what happens So our guys start skating, this guy will have a puck. This guy will be skating towards him. Okay, they're gonna exchange the puck. This guy will skate for a second and then leave it for his partner and then they're gonna attack the net. So this guy picks up the puck here. Okay, he's gonna skate this way. His partner's going to attack around the barrier. This guy's going to make a saucer pass over the barrier to him and then trail in behind him. So he's not going straight to the net. He's gonna cut back behind his partner here. Partner's going to drive around the net. Okay, and if there's a goaltender here, he wants to sell it. Okay, like he's going around the net for a wraparound. So you really wanna sell the wraparound, sell that you're driving to the wide side of the net. Okay, and then we're gonna kick it back to this area for our partner to get a scoring chance. Okay, so the key is again, sell it for the D and the goalie so we can get them to bite this way, kick the puck back to our partner, okay, for a play in tight. Okay, again, another drill focusing on making quick plays in tight areas, making saucer passes. Okay, so we're gonna have one guy down here and we'll have a pile of pucks. And we can just roll through this, you can switch with your partner or we can roll through it as a team. So what this guy's gonna do is he's gonna start skating, okay, and he wants to get his body on this side of the obstacle, whether it's sticks or a barrier or whatever you guys got, roll of pucks, doesn't matter. And he wants to get the puck on this side. So he's working on stick handling out here on this side of the barrier with his body on this side. Once he gets to the far end of the obstacle, he's gonna cut it back towards the net. This guy's gonna come off the wall and read the play, drive the net, make a saucer pass over the barrier. This guy can finish, and then he can jump into the drill and start the next rep. Okay, and this guy can go to the back of the line. Okay, again, here's a drill. This just works on three different types of shots, okay? Um, getting the puck on and off your stick quickly, again, is the emphasis. We don't want to overhandle in this drill. Okay, so this variation, if I'm a right-handed shot, I'm basically going to start the drill on this side, presenting my forehand, okay? My partner down here is going to pass to me, and I'm going to drag and shoot off this side, okay? Stop and recover to right here. Then I'm going to get a pass from my partner down here. I'm going to push the puck to this side and shoot and again get the puck off as quickly as possible when I get to the opposite side of the barrier or the obstacles here. Okay, and then I'm going to back pedal, release, open up for a one timer and get a pass from my partner here. Okay, and again if you only have one guy passing, all three passes can come off this side. Okay, but if you have multiple guys you can work it through okay, so the passes come from both sides of the ice.
Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, make sure to check us out on Instagram at Reach Hockey. And you can also email us with any questions or comments or anything you'd like to see on the channel at reachhockey2018 at gmail.com.